Hello, hello, welcome to my channel called Actively Planning. So for today, as you can see, I have my passion planner here. It is actually the small size and it has a Monday start. So let's open this up and actually get started. So the first thing I wanna share is obviously, as you can see here, I have all of my post-its. It's again, here, let me just clip this really quick. Um, as you can see, again, Post-its are my favorite way of being able to know what's happening during that week without having to basically use my planner yet until I do my actual planning. So for this week, I'm still going to be using this sticker pack because I'm still very much obsessed with the colors and I kind of still want to experiment in different ways how to use these stickers. So with that, I'm actually going to be using three different um, icon stickers or three different brands. I did just order some more because as you can see also, I am running out and need it soon. So with that, I'm actually going to be mixing and matching these two washi tapes. And of course, I have my Make ID label printer here where I printed out prior to starting filming all of my titles for this spread. So. The first thing I'm actually going to be doing is whiting out some of these sections just because I do like to have a more crisp view of the colors in my washi tapes, especially those two that I'm using today. They're very, very transparent. So I definitely wanna make sure that I am using up the colors as best as I can and the way that I found it is with simple whiteout. So I'm just gonna cover this up really quick and then have some fun with some washi tape. Obviously, I have to do the actual planning part of this video. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Obviously, there is many things to still be done on this spread as far as decorating, but I gotta make sure that my actual plans are in here before I actually do anything. So what I'm gonna do, and I've been doing this for very long now is color coding just because the different activities or different meetings, different calls, different work things I like to be able to identify them by their color so I've been doing this quite a while now it just makes it more visually easy to see what's happening in those let's say 24 hours of that day but then also take a look at it in a week long spread because I want to make sure that I'm using my time wisely and one of the biggest things that I could do is be able to identify where I'm spending most of my time and where I can change things up week by week. Obviously things like my work where I have to show up somewhere for 12 hours, I cannot 
change, um, obviously, but for everything else, the days that I do work from home, I want to make sure that I am work using my time wisely to be able to get work done in a way that is efficient, not wasting my time, aka my biggest thing is binge watching reality TV shows, but I won't even go there. Um, but yeah, I just want to make sure that I am doing everything and being able to color code is definitely extremely helpful. And talking about that, I wanted to bring up kind of a little bit more of what I spoke about last time where it's like when you take a look at other people's spreads you kind of get a little bit discouraged because you might want to be able to do something like that and you can't either because you don't have let's say the resources aka pens markers stencils whatever it is or you just don't have let's say the ability to have the same handwriting the same way of experimenting all of those different types of ways that we can compare ourselves to other people especially in this creative world and I just want to bring up like honestly if you were to take a look at what I first first started with when I first got my ever first planner I'm saying first a lot but anyways um, you could see that this is nothing like it I was just literal pen to this paper and that is it it's something that you just evolve over time see what works best for you um, not everyone uses the same equipment the same I know that many people use these markers in different ways they use them to actually draw I just use them to highlight um, so it's it's you being able to experiment the best way that you can and whatever feels best for you because again Every single person is so unique, especially when it comes to planning, where the main priority, let's be real, is actually making sure that you are planning out your days, right? And being able to be a little bit more creative just lets that, you know, that, I'm trying to think of a nicer word or nice way to say it, but it basically lets you be that creative self within being consistent with your time, being organized with your time, all of those things. So it's definitely, you know, something to always take note of whenever you are, let's say on social media, looking at other people's plans, looking at how they do things. Just make sure that you realize that everyone is so unique in the way that they approach things, in the way that they do things, that just because, let's say, their handwriting might be a smidgen better than yours does not mean that yours isn't amazing. There's someone always going to be inspired by the way that you do things. You might just not know it. So anyways, wanted to drop that in here. But for now, let me just go ahead, finish up what I'm doing here, planning out my weeks with my time blocker, and keep on going.
going to this next section, which is the bottom right section of my planner, which is usually where I write down the quote of the week. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit in terms of what the quote is. And the reason I do this is because every single week I try to focus on something new or something different or might be work related, side job related, life related. So I definitely want to be able to make sure that it is aligned to whatever it is that I want to focus on. And for this one, it is about myself. So anyways, let me just go ahead and finish this up. into the bottom left section as you can see passion planner does already have these lines built into uh, or printed already into their plans and the thing that I just use it for is to create my own habit tracker so the reason I do some habit tracking is for my side business my partnership with this well wellness brand and the reason I do it is because obviously I want to be able to let's say increase my income be able to make sure that my clients are being taken care of so this is a way for me to be able to track all of those things one of the biggest things that I've learned throughout doing this so many let's say actually so many years now is that habits and tracking them or let me just put it this way tracking your habits is actually the greatest way for you to see how you're doing rather than just making it up because you say oh yeah I did that a few times but in reality take a look at what you're tracking take a look at how many times you do it and that'll show you more consistency rather than trying to figure it out on your own if that makes sense so anyways I'm just gonna go ahead let me just finish this up sections of my planner that I'm going to be doing is this bottom section here with the habit tracker. I actually started doing this a few weeks now or a few weeks ago <laughs> um, and it's called the reflection section. So anything that uh, pops into my head, notes that I want to take, this is where I'm actually going to be writing them. And then I obviously have on the left hand side is usually where I write down my gratitude. It is one thing a day that I'm grateful for, which I end up adding into the back pages. Um, I'm actually going to be changing up the title. As you can see, it says evening reflection. That's not going to be it. So I'm just going to cover this up really quick and then put the title on. But then also, as you can see, my Sunday is also blocked off, which, okay, FYI, I usually film 
and then I'm adding this audio. Um, I realized that I actually work on Sunday, <laughs> so I did this wrong. I'm going to be fixing it after I finish up all of this, but um, on days that I don't usually work, my Sunday section is usually where I add in all of my goals. So some things that I want to work on, personal, work-related, all those things. So I like to add them in there so that it is a place where I'm able to look at be able to be reminded by all the hard work that I'm doing and be able to track again all of those things. So just an FYI, this Sunday section should only be halfway done because I actually work a 12 hour shift that day. But anyways, <laughs> this is what real life, real planning happens. It's fine. It's a part of the process. It is, you know, just humans making human things. So anyways, let me just add in my titles here, add in my to-do boxes, and then have some fun with some stickers.
So here is the final spread. Yes, lately the spreads have been using the same kind of stickers. Obviously trying, I've been trying to incorporate them in different ways, but I'm still very much loving that everything is in one spot. I have everything that I can look at. I have all my to-dos, reflection, gratitude, goals, all the things in one spot. And obviously I'm gonna be fixing my Sunday right after I finish this. But anyways, hopefully this was inspiring, hopefully motivating, and hopefully you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you here for another video very soon. Bye.